be making basics. What's good, YouTube? Beat Making Basics back again with another dope video. If you're new to my channel, please do me a favor. Go ahead and subscribe. Also, give me a thumbs up if you like the content. Without further ado, let's jump into today's content. So, what we're going to be covering is how to arrange a Drake-type beat, a certified lover Drake-type beat. We're going to arrange that into a song, okay? So, actually, this is the beat that we um, made in one of the previous videos. I'm gonna let y'all hear it and then we're gonna start actually turning this into a song. So that's the beat. So first thing here, it's very simple. We only have one, two, three, four, five tracks. And so what I want to do here, first of all, is just go ahead and copy everything. So I'm going to push Command C. And then I'm going to use the greater than sign or less than sign to go over. And then we'll push Command V to paste it. Probably about five is good enough or six is good enough. And the first thing we need to work on is the intro. So <clears throat> what I think I'm going to do is just double this track and take this down like this. And we're going to turn off this. Um, we're going to turn off this EQ. Let's listen to it without the EQ. That's perfect as far as the intro. So what I'll do is I'm going to actually mute the rest of these by pushing control M and that's going to mute it within the workspace window. And that's going to be our intro. So I'm just going to let that go just like that. I'm going to mute out these parts right here by pushing control and M as well. So what it's going to do is going to play this Vox without the EQ. It has the uh, reverb on it for the first parts of this bar. Actually, I might have to go ahead and cut that short because this is actually pretty long. Let's listen to it. cool so it doesn't really have to even repeat like that so what I'm gonna do we're gonna just gonna trim this and I'm gonna take all of this and move it over so this is gonna be the intro this is a little small part right here and then it's gonna jump right into the beat for the hook we're actually gonna go ahead and leave that on and we'll just come in with the bass and the kick and snare and all that let's listen to how that sounds See if that makes sense. And actually, I kind of liked it going all the way over, so we'll do it like that. I'll do is I'll go ahead and bring in the bass like midway in that so it actually kind of lead into this hook
cool. So that's going to be the hook for the verse. I'm pretty much going to keep it simple. <clears throat> we'll go ahead and turn off like the uh, kick, snare, hat. I'll probably let the bass play all the way through. And as you can see here, this second box that has like, um, we cut out the highs on this one. So that was, that's what we'll play throughout the verses. And so I'm just gonna cut this part off right here. This is how long the verse is gonna be. I know it looks crazy because, you know, actually technically this is the vert. Um, these are each bars right here. I just wanna explain this right here. So if you look at this, this is all measures right here. So technically this is supposed to be a 16 from here to here. But if you look at the tempo, the tempo is super, super fast. It's like almost double timed. Like, so if you divide it, you know, 100 by two, that's 50 divided 77 by two. That's what, like 30 something. So it's like 80 something on the BPM. You feel me? So really it's not as long as it sounds or seems, you know what I mean? If I was to click over here, yeah, see, we're right where we need to be. So anyway, y'all, we're going to keep on going here. Like I said, I'll probably just cut off the kick and everything for the first couple of bars. I might bring in like a snare. Yeah, let me bring in the snare on um, the second half part. Matter of fact, we'll bring the snare and the kick. And then for the last part right there, maybe we'll cut it off, cut all the drums out or something. You know what I mean? Just to keep it simple. And then all of a sudden, pretty much we have our we have our deal here. So let me just kind of come over here. Copy this. Paste it. And one more time. As you can see, three minutes thirty six seconds. Not bad at all. We're gonna end this song though, right here. We're gonna unmute this. This is the version that has the that doesn't have the uh, underwater effect, what I would call. As a matter of fact, we'll just repeat with this bass. All right, so I'm gonna explain what I just did here, but this is gonna be the this is gonna be the song, um, and of course we'll probably just put like a little fade out right here, put a fade out right here. So let me go ahead and explain what I just did over again. All right, so we got two vocals. One without EQ, one with EQ. This one with EQ, we took out all, all of the highs. So we did a low pass. And uh, let's just go to the verse. Pretty much just gonna do that over and over again um, just keeping it simple I mean obviously there's more things you could do to this beat we could switch certain things up but just wanted to give you a simple formula that you could follow basically what you did what I did here is I got a good intro going all right and once I got the intro going we went ahead and got a hook all right once we got our hook we uh, put together a verse and from there we would just come in here and we repeat this verse it's that simple Drag that on over like this, as you can see. Then drag over another hook. And then pretty much, if you really look at this, it's the intro is the outro, but reversed. Or actually, it's not reversed. It's just the same thing. Except for I put a little tail on the end. So if you listen to over here to the outro.
and definitely has that Drake vibe, man. You know, um, I think there's some certain things we can do in here. Maybe we can double time the hi hats just in certain parts to really take it up to the next level on the beat. So, like for instance, maybe right here, I can come in here. And I can double time these hi hats. So let's listen to it now. I'll listen to it right here from the middle of this first burst part. One hundred percent necessary, but I mean, it helps us to do certain certain things that are different throughout the beat, so it's not all sounding predictable. You feel me? You don't want it to sound too predictable, but you want it to be basic. You don't want it to be too complicated either. So so far, this is what we got going on. The only other things that I would probably do on this is maybe add some different effects. So like, I can come over here, and we could put like a vinyl effect on this. I'm using Ozotope. Um, what was that? Where, where did I get that effect from? Isotope, yeah. Isotope has this free plugin called Vinyl. You can get it right here. Now, just little things you could put on here. I'm gonna put the vinyl effect right over here as well. Hold down option, you can drag this over. And then on the uh, stereo out, put this uh, adaptive limiter on here. Just so it doesn't let it peak or whatever. So let's listen to it. Check this beat out. And that's pretty much the beat, man. Um, you also got to keep in mind that this is for an artist. So 
the artist is actually going to be other otherwise doing certain things to the song to the verses to make it sound different so like for instance drake can come in here and rap on this first verse and he can come on this second verse and sing on the second verse and it will make it sound completely different Vice versa, if there's a feature on this second part and he's like sang right here and then rap right here and then, you know, you got the hook hook and then you have a feature and then you feel me. So it's just got to keep all that in mind, man. But appreciate y'all watching um, till the next one. We out.